5,560 pounds. This is a 28RGS Dutchman Light here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. So called because no one would buy it if it was called a Dutchman Heavy. Now would they? Um, all in all, pretty fair condition for what it is. I think it's like 07-ish, something like that. Um, well maintained. Previous owners were very realistic folks who understood really what they should and shouldn't do with an RV. Taking home that barely used Springdale right over there that just came into our used RV uh, lineup. And uh, I think they're going to like it. They're going to gain a lot more space and whatnot. But this is a very solid, easily half ton towable little couples camper and I don't really see anything wrong with it. Uh, if you want to see if it's still in stock and available, I invite you to visit the link in the video description down there. It says check for price and availability because that'll answer those questions for you. I think the Trunnion Bar style hitching system you see here is probably going to be included with it. Um, I could be wrong there. The reason I say that is the trailer that they're buying has a newer, heavier uh, hitching system included with it compliments of the previous owner of that camper roof vent cover above the bathroom here so you can get some good airflow in the rain windows are tinted a little bit to keep the uh, uv exposure down um i see obvious signs of uh maintenance and resealing that's a good thing for some reason people get spooked They're like oh it looks like they had to reseal this there yeah yeah it's 10 years old it needed some resealing that's a good thing the fact is they did the ceiling and didn't let it leak that's sort of the point but windows buddy we got windows we got lots of windows going on here giant window giant window slightly giant less giant window <laughs> and uh you can see they added the bigger entry handle here um pretty common you know for folks wanting a little bit of easy come and go <clears throat> big pass-through storage up front too under the uh, master bed you might see a couple accessories like i see a few hoses behind here pretty pretty common actually people leave little tidbits like that behind with them when they go light bright decor inside which is very nice especially with all the windows it stays very bright and comfortable in here you can see all original owner's manuals still present and accounted for uh, i think the folks came to us i believe their michigan residents came to us from a little bit north ways but uh came down here because we had the right trailer at the right price he actually looked locally someone had something very similar locally and we just had the far better deal on it more than enough to make the drive valuable to him um the uh you know classic campers well, I don't know, it seems funny to call an 07 Classic, but in the scheme of things, I suppose, this still falls into that classic when they had the red-blue-green schemes every year, this obviously being the blue. Now everything is brown or browner, and occasionally a gray, but this is kind of what they looked like for a long time. Very efficient corner entertainment center. You've got the uh, the, the twin recliners, like, well, not recliners, these are swivel chairs, but swivel rocking chairs, uh, you know, and you've got uh, his and hers almost window set up on this. Now, I've got this chair facing this way because that's where they had it strapped down for transit, but you could easily kick it over in this corner to have an easier view of the entertainment center. I've always liked it, corner entertainments because you can sit here, you can be in the kitchen, you can sit here, and pretty much everybody's got a pretty fair shot at the screen if you are going to watch TV, say, on a rainy day or something. Um, good example here of used, not abused, and I also like that the folks did spend some repair money on this. They didn't let this RV just fall into a state of disrepair. Give you a quick glance at the kitchen. I do want to point out that there's a deceptively good amount of kitchen counter space in here. You look at it and you're like, mm, I, I don't buy it. I don't, I don't see what you're talking about. Look behind the things. Because this is a kitchen slide, that's what the RGS stands for, galley slide, um, you see that you've got like an extra six, eight inches here. You've got about an extra foot back there with that conveniently located uh, appliance outlet so you can keep your coffee makers and stuff back there out of the way. That's why we have sink covers and a stove cover to give you back your prep space with just enough drawer and cabinet space to get you through a little weekend. Great little runaround weekend camper. Sofa can fold down into uh, a little sleeper. The dinette obviously can do the same as is the case with most campers. Now right here, you're, if I hadn't pointed this out, you probably never would have noticed it. You see a transition line on the floor. That is because this is the original factory flooring, and the original factory flooring in the living room had a cold crack incident. So instead of just letting it sit there and peel and look ugly, the previous owners peeled all the living room linoleum, put new linoleum down, and even trimmed it out real nicely. They did a good job of it. There's nothing wrong with it. 
I, I think it looks pretty darn sharp. Actually, this flooring looks almost exactly like the floor in the, the camper that they just bought. That's too funny. Very traditional, um, space efficient, walk through middle bathroom. Not unlike a motorhome, actually. They do this because it is a great way to get uh, a lot of features into a very small space. It also does an excellent job of privatizing this front bedroom. Uh, this mattress is actually about 10 years newer than the rest of the coach. This is the uh, mattress out of the camper they just bought because they had a uh, big residential, super duper, like 14 inch thick memory foam pillow top thing that I helped transfer from that camper, or well, from this camper to that one. That was not necessarily the most easy thing I planned on doing today, but at the same time, hey, you do what you need to do for customer's sake. And there you have it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Hitching pieces, parts, trades, accessories, financing, truck and trailer package deals, everything in between. We only do everything at Haylet RV so you don't have to. That's why we have this big giant service center and you can see, look at this. Trailers, ultralights, traditional trailers, luxury fifth wheels, motorhomes, everything in one spot. And obviously, good deals on used RVs. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone.